For exactly one year after the referendum to create six new regions, Bono East residents are optimistic that the creation of the new region would bring the needed development to the area. Bono East Minister Kofi Amwakuhene, in an exclusive interview with Joy News' Anas Sabit, says the region since its creation has aided development to deprived areas within the region. There's more in this report. In late 2017, a coalition of chiefs for the creation of the proposed Bono East region uh, petitioned government on the need to create a new region out of the then Bono Ahafo region, purported at bringing development to this area. On the 27th of December 2018, a referendum was held across this part of the country and voters went out in their numbers to vote yes towards the creation of the new region. And Lenormand decided to send petition to his SLC president for a separate region. And we want to prove beyond all reasonable doubt that we are prepared, campaigning and also making sure that the people get to their various police stations to cast their votes. <laughs> One year on after the creation of this particular region, what has changed? Are the people seeing the expected developmental projects they voted for in the creation of the new region? We're going to the streets of Techiman, the Bono East Regional Capital, to speak with few people to find out what has changed after the creation of the Bono East region. This is only one year that we created the Bono East uh, region. And I believe that it has come to help the, the region and the development of the region. Previously, we used to go to Sunyane for administrative work, especially when you, you, need to, you need to fill your form, you need to submit your form. You have to travel one hour to Sunyane before you can assess this service. Financially, we are not spending money to go to Sunyane for this administrative work. <laughs> Because person is saying, "Eko ye fan say passport a sunya ne eko." But say ne yanya ye ruji ebe ye no wahaya. Nti ebe ma lor fe ane ye ni ni na e subete. Nti mi mum di mani aji papa mani aji pa si mama kritisa buni istin. A section of them say, though they are excited with the development, they want government to focus on bringing more jobs to the youth in order to bring much more development to the area. The Amemba can say Penyumfono or Munti or Munim, no moon creative jobs or more man punctu will be Mrakunum, a Bemayan Yahoo, 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 that the roads linking the various communities to the regional capital needs to be constructed in order to bring development to the doorstep of everyone within the region. For those kept at the helm of affairs, what is being put in place to ensure that the needed development gets to the people? Honorable Kofi Amwakohene is the Bono East Regional Minister and a member of parliament for Atibu Amantin constituency. As the president announced that they were going to have a decentralized uh, agencies. So here we are. This is the Chiba, the capital city of Bono East, and we are having we are the site of where the regional uh, RCC block ought to be constructed. But currently we've also started constructing a uh, two-story unit block for health at Kentampo and two outhouse. Same as for education at Nkranza and same as at Atebebu for agri directorate and then Prime Pro West. Uh, they also have uh, the same facility as part of the decentralized policy for the regional uh, directorate. For the smooth takeoff of the new region, three major roads projects are currently undergoing tender processes and will soon be under construction. We cannot have this region run smoothly without providing access. So we have three major key roads that links the region together. 
that is, this is Tachiman, the capital. To my left, you go to Nkransa. Behind that, there is a way uh, that links Nkransa district, Nkransa north, and Nkransa south, and links to Atebebu. And then we selected the almighty Kwame Dansu route. And then our third project was also a road leading um, to Prime, uh, Prime from Kentampo, Zamrama, Abase, and then to Prime, so that it can also serve that enclave. Honorable Kofi Amakoheni tells me the creation of the new region has created a lot of jobs to the people of the area. I was an MP, yes, but I wasn't a minister. My deputy was an MP, he's not a minister. We have cleaners in our offices. We have the complete RCC set. We have the planning department. We have the, uh, I mean, mention them, everything, everything. So, yes, for creation of jobs, certainly it has added to the door of job creation. Mr. Ajay Mensakosa is a deputy minister in charge of the creation of the six new regions. For him, the work of the ministry is yet to begin. The ministry, as the name defines, was created to reorganize some administrative regions of Ghana and develop them. Per our mandate, the creation of the regions was the first phase of this project, which has since successfully come off. We are now at a stage of development. And you may recall that the real basis for the petitions that came from Nananom was to ensure equitable and accelerated development in these regions. That for me is the most fundamental thing. If that is not achieved, creating the regions is meaningless. And so for me, the ministry's work just started. And that is why I find it difficult for anybody to say you created the region so your work is finished. How can it be finished when the mandate is regional reorganization and development? He, however, believes that by the creation of the new regions, several deprived parts of the country are currently seeing development. Through His Excellency's vision, we've had the opportunity to open up this country, to make sure that our, our, our governance process is, is, is opened up, uh, the country is opened up, a governance is sent closer to the people, and then the very deprived sectors or areas of our country are beginning to see some amount of development. From the capital of the newly created Bono East region here in Techiman, I am Anna Sabit for Joy News. Interesting. We'll be coming to your region, uh, if it's a newly created region, to find out what are the gains made there so far.